everyone. My name is Brandy. I am your Norwex consultant this week, hopefully forever. Um, I want to thank you all for joining the group and letting me share Norwex with you. Uh, I want to thank our lovely hostess for hosting. I can't, I couldn't be doing this without you. So thank you all so much. Um, I started with Norwex back in 2003, so a long time ago, but I ended up moving about a year after I signed up. So I really didn't know anyone, and that was back when parties were just in person, or you can just take a catalog and try to sell. So social media wasn't a thing, you know, it wasn't um, used for this type of thing. So it was really hard after I moved to uh, continue to sell. Although I continued to use it, I fell in love with it. I kept ordering the detergent and you know the products that I used um, from other people. So I was a loyal customer, but I just I stopped selling. I became dormant. And then um, in December, I um, one of my friends, well, then the pan, let me back up a little bit. Then the pandemic started. So I pulled my kit back out again and I started to really use it. And then in 2021, my husband was diagnosed with, with cancer. So I started to do a lot of research um, and learned all about what a carcinogen is and um, that thousands and thousands of our products that we use daily just to clean or wash our clothes with or just you know things that you wouldn't think about have carcinogens in them they cause cancer and um, there's been a lot of cancer in my family and then now my husband so it really hit home and I did I think I did way too much research to be honest it really it scared the crap out of me um, so I uh, then I noticed that a friend was having a party and I got in there and I ordered, of course, the detergent, like I always do. And then um, I ordered the, the new mop attachment, which I'll show you in a little while. And uh, then um, she asked me to host a party. And there was nobody that was wanting to host. And so I agreed to host a party. You know, it was on, it was finally on Facebook, an online event. I thought, well, sure, absolutely. And I could use some free Norwex. Who couldn't? So I did. And then um, I was asked to sign up. And I was pretty adamant that I didn't want to uh, because I just, I just opened my own salon back in May. So I, I just had a lot on my plate. But I knew that I was going to be using this forever at this point. I just, I was over it. I had completely gotten chemicals out of my home and um, I wanted more. <laughs> once you, that's the bad thing about Norwex is once you start getting things, you want more and you want more and you want more, you want the whole catalog. So uh, before I knew it, I was hosting a party, signing up or reactivating actually, because I just became dormant. So I technically still had an account. So they reactivated me. It was $9.99. I earned my free kit. Um, it just, and then my cousin wanted to host a party and then she signed up and it just kind of boomed from there. And um, that is how I got in touch with Lindsay is because she signed up to host from um, another person's party. Um, so from Mandy's party. So it just, you know, it just goes down the line. So that's why I am your consultant this evening. And that is why I love Norwex and want to share it with every single person that I talk to. It, it takes me everything not to, to talk about it with every client that sits in my chair. I don't want to run them off, you know, so I don't want them to feel like I'm all salesy because I'm not, I'm just, I'm literally extremely passionate about it. I love every aspect of the company. So, um, I just want to talk about it. I want to share it with them. It's not fair that I'm over here using just water to, and these great products that don't have any harmful chemicals in them to, um, clean my home. And then these other people, they're just, they're clueless about what they're using. You know, they need, they don't know. So you, I just want to tell them, you know, I want to tell everybody it's so hard not to, you know? So I love doing these parties and I love sharing it with you. And I might be a little over, um, I might overdo it. <laughs> so if I do, I apologize. Just bear with me, hang out with me for just a little while. And I will, uh, I promise you after this, this uh, demo, you'll know a lot more about how to use them, about how it works and about how to care for your cloths and your products when you do get them. So I'm just going to dive right in. I'm really trying to cut down the time on these. Um, so let's first talk about mechanical, you know, the three ways to clean. Steam, mechanical, and chemical. Um, steam is where you get things to a certain temperature and then it, the, the steam will kill the bacteria. So for, for instance, the steam mop, that's a good example of steam cleaning. Um, chemical cleaning is where you actually use a chemical, like a spray, you know, your, your normal household spray or your, your horrible wipes that I'm getting ready to talk about. Um, 
in a second. That's uh, the chemical way of plating. And then mechanical is where you, um, you physically remove germs and bacteria from the surface with just water. So you're literally mechanically cleaning it. And that is how Norwex works. Um, typical cleaning sprays and wipes coat surfaces with pot potentially harmful chemicals and they leave a toxic residue behind. So like for instance, these, these wipes, um, I have to of course take the label off, but I love the directions and I just want to read a little, like a small part to you. Um, to sanitize or disinfect, pre-clean, first you have to pre-clean the surface. Um, use enough wipes to thoroughly wet the surface. Surf surface must remain wet for the entire contact time. To sanitize, allow to remain wet for 10 seconds. To disinfect, which is what I would have to do in the salon, allow to remain wet for four minutes and what everybody was doing, sorry, I keep going back, um, what we've all been doing the last couple of years because of the pandemic, right? It says allow to remain wet for four minutes, allow the surface to air dry, and then you throw that wipe away. So we're talking maybe three or four wipes that you've already used. And then for surf surfaces that come in contact with food, use only on hard, non-porous surfaces and rinse thoroughly with water to prevent the growth of mold, mildew, and their other odors. Pre-clean hard, non-porous surfaces. Um, wipe the surface and allow it to remain wet for four minutes. I, I never knew that, that you had to literally allow it to remain wet. That means keep going over it and, and keeping it wet for four minutes, standing there for four minutes and keep wiping over it and then you allow it to air dry and then repeat applications in weekly intervals or when mold and mildew growth appears and then you have to go back in and clean it with water you have to clean it mechanically so you're cleaning it chemically first and then cleaning it mechanically because you don't want that that chemical residue left behind on those high chairs you know for your babies to you know for the they're, i mean they're, they'd be ingesting it or um for people to touch or you know so if you're going to clean it mechanically anyway, why not just start out that way and throw away these these crazy harmful chemicals? They're they're awful. Um, I wish I could just go through each chemical and list, and I just I can't do that. But um, trust me, I think there is there's thousands of thousands of chemicals that you bring into the home daily, and only 145 of them have been approved by the FDA for us to use. 145 out of thousands, and it only takes 26 seconds for what comes in contact with us, whether it be a spray, whether we're cleaning, um, whether I'm doing hair, which it, it really sucks that I can't change things there, but I can control what happens in my home and so can you. So, um, so in other words, you, um, you want to get these chemicals out of your home and just, I mean, if you're just using water, you don't have to worry about um, all of the the harmful chemicals anymore. You don't have to worry about what your babies are touching, crawling on the floor. This our mop. It uses only water as well. And uh, so, if you get whenever you get that new flooring, and you talk to your that flooring guy, which my son, future son-in-law is one, and he loves the mop. As a matter of fact, he ordered one. And I'm even thinking about going to the flooring companies around here in town and talking to them about it, and like maybe making a deal with them. I don't know, but. Um, he loves the, as the, the aspect of the, the new mop attachment where it only sprays a tiny bit of water and then you, I mean, you just use that and you mop and your floor is clean. Okay, so that is um, mechanical versus chemical. First, we're going to talk about the EnviroCloth, which started this whole thing. Um, it was the very first thing that um, Norwex came out with. E is for everything um, for EnviroCloth. You clean with only water, everything and everywhere. It's the perfect replacement for a toxic chemical cleaner and eliminates the need for wasteful wasteful paper towels, which I am paper towel free. It did take a few months, but we are completely paper towel free because of the new counter cloths that they came out with. They are absolutely amazing. They're the same size as a selective size paper towel. Um, they're fantastic, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the Enviro cloth. Sorry. Um, okay, so to be microfiber, you have to be one sixth of a human hair. So they take it, you know, one hair and they split it six times and then it, that thread is considered a microfiber. Norwex goes even further and they um, split it one two hundredth of a human hair. Can you imagine splitting one of your hairs 200 times? Well, they do. And that is what they weave their Norwex um, Enviro cloths with. So this cloth, each thread is one two hundredth the size of a human hair. So um, could you tell me to just take a guess at how many miles Yes, miles. How many miles this one cloth is? Can you guess? 
and you can't, you can't even imagine. It's 10 million miles, 10 million. That means that it can stretch. If you were to unweave this and stretch it across um, America, you would go from the Gulf of Mexico to Canada. This one cloth, that it just, it, it baffles me. And then during the weaving process, they put in uh, liquid silver. Silver is a natural antimicrobial agent. So whenever they add that, it makes it be able to kill 99% of the bacteria that it's picking up. And it also makes our cloths, they're able to self purify. So once you, in between wash it or in between uses, like I like to fold mine into four, fold it like, like this. So you have, then you, that means that you have eight different clean surfaces that you can use. So every time I go to, you know, I clean something, I, sw I go to a different surface, use those eight surfaces. And then I go to the sink and I use some warm water and I take it and scrub it really well. You want to scrub while you're, you're rinsing really well, really, really well. And then you want to wring it out extremely well because you only want it damp. You don't want it soaking wet. Okay, so you want to do that in between. And then I wash maybe a couple times a month. There is one particular cloth that I use in the kitchen only with around meats. And that's why I have multiple um, different colors because I like to know what colors I use for different things. Um, you don't have to do that. You can literally go from your, from your bathroom to your kitchen with the Enviro cloth and it doesn't cross contaminate. And I will do a demo and I will show you that here in a second. But they, um, I personally like to have a different cloth for every room. So what the ones in the kitchen, I do wash weekly. Um, and then it has a, there's a boil method that you use either with our Ultra Power Plus or the microfiber cleaner um, that really, you, you boil hot water, you then put it aside, you uh, put your cloths in and then your cleaner in there and then you let the water get cold. And then I throw, I wring them out and throw them into a regular wash. So that is the deep clean method. And you only want to do that maybe every few months. You don't want to do that all the time. Um, but I actually just did that for the first time since December, since I reactivated. And uh, it, it was amazing what the water looked like. I took a picture. Um, I wish I could show it to you. I, I think I'm going to get take some pictures and put them out on boards. Um, I'm still learning how to do these online events and these um, videos and then eventually do live. But um, um, I know all about Norwex and uh, this, this aspect of it, this whole um, social media aspect of it is the part that I am still you know, I'm, I'm switching up every party just a little bit to try to see what works the best for people. I want to get as much information out to you as possible, but make it fun still, you know, not make it feel like you're in school, but um, I do want you to know all the information about it. So that is our Enviro cloth. Um, I'm going to do a demo with that in a second, but first I want to introduce you to um, its best friend. It's the window cloth. The window cloth is its best friend. They are like peanut butter and jelly. They go together like Bert and Ernie. Um, you uh, first go in with the Enviro cloth and clean. And then if you want to polish something to make it shiny, like, like mirrors, um, your granite top uh, or your, your fixtures, you know, your stainless steel appliances, um, anything you want shiny, you want to go back in with the dry in window cloth. So damp Enviro cloth, dry um, window cloth. I know some people have used this wet. That's not the right way. Uh, you can't, I mean, you can use it wet, obviously, if you want to, but um, I find the best way for me is to do the, the, the wet, damp Enviro cloth and then the dry window cloth. So let me just do a little demonstration on how this works. Um, first, I'm going to take my mirror. Of course, I have a little salon mirror and you can see it's a little dirty. I mean, I wanted it to be a little dirtier, but it's a little dirty. Sorry for the shine in your eyes there um you can normally like whenever i first started doing this it said you to use butter um or you know petroleum products so i just started buying these little carmexes and it works a lot better so imagine this being um your children's fingerprints your fingerprints uh your uh pets noses um your grandkids string cheese marks i have those all the time when mine come over so um just, you know, imagine this being that, you know, your dirty window, not, or your dirty mirror, not your um, window or mirror, doesn't matter. Um, you wouldn't just wipe petroleum jelly on there. I'm just using that as a demonstration. So I'm gonna take one side of this and go through here and clean it off really well. Actually, I used two sides. That side wasn't very wet. 
but I mean, it, it just comes off really, 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 really well. It, those little things, those little um, loops that they have in here work like little hands, little grabbers that go in there and grab everything, the smallest particle. And then you go back in with your, win your dry window cloth and you polish it dry. Look how wonderful. Hold on, sorry, I'm not even doing it in front of the mirror. But look at that. I mean, it, it took me, what, 30 seconds? No more cleaners that you have to purchase, so you're saving money. And look how quick it happens, you know, it works, so you're saving time um, with just two cloths. So that's it's just, it's amazing. Okay, there is your Enviro and window cloth, our best friends. Okay, then now we're gonna talk about the dust mitt. I um, don't love to dust. It's one of my worst, you know, that I just don't like to do, but this dust mitt makes it so much easier. And this is my favorite dust mitt. I hope it's still available. If it's not, I'm sorry. This one doesn't come with a thumb. Most of them come with a thumb, but that really doesn't matter. But before you use your dust mitt, you want to um, go in and recharge it up. There are 45 chemicals that lay in dust alone that cause allergens, autoimmune disorders, all kinds of things. Um, so you want to make sure you dust often and dust well. You know, with other dusters, you're just throwing that dust around, but with this, it actually is magnetic and it picks it up. So I'm gonna show you, I've just used a little bit of flour on my platter here and I charged up my, my dust mitt. So look how nice it did. Okay, and it's all still on this. So then you wanna take your rubber brush. So yes, if you get the dust mitt, you'll want the rubber brush and it is on sale until St. Patrick's Day. And then you just wanna go to the trash can and brush it off. You can go outside and pound it, but you don't wanna do it inside. I mean, it kinda of defeats the purpose. So um, I do take them outside and then pound them really good. But in between, while I'm dusting, I do this a couple of times. But you know, then it's off. So it's great. That's how our little dust mitt works. They are great. You can use them wet or dry. Try them wet on your screens. It'll end up black, but don't worry. Just throw it in the washing machine. Um, and I will talk, I'll talk about how to uh, care for them in just a minute. All right, next. Oh, and also one more tip with the dust mitt. Take it to the beach with you. Put your, your, your lotions in there. And then whenever you have sand all over you, it will wipe the sand off just in seconds. I am always walking through the car with sand all over me and I get it all over the car. Um, no, take the dust mitt with you and wipe it all off, you know, in between and it just comes off so easily. It's, it's great. That's a cute little, a, a neat little tip that for the dust mitt. All right, we're going to talk about our cleaning paste. It's called our elbow grease in a jar. They call it willful because it lasts forever. I have had my cleaning paste. Oops. I know I brought it over here. Here it is. I have had my cleaning paste for um, since 2000, 2003. I think this one might be my new one though that I, no, it isn't, it's my older one. It comes as a solid. They do call it cleaning paste, but I, will, I, want, I make sure to tell everybody it comes and it kind of looks like a, it's a solid. So it, it has a look of chalk. Um, I've had people call me and say, oh, my cleaning paste is dried up. It's not. It turns into a paste when you use your damp and viral cloth on it. There are so many uses for this, so I am going to post, if I haven't already, I'm going to post um, something on the, the group, the workshop, um, showing a bunch of different ways that you can use it. There are so many right now, um, and there's gonna be more. Just try it on anything. Just try it in little in little corners, like um, on top of like stove tops, your flat stove top. I use it on mine. Mine is a lighter gray with the black, you know, the black um, ring, the black uh, warmer, or burner, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it works great on it. You use this, the cleaning paste, and you use it with a spirit sponge. So I suggest if you do get the cleaning paste to get our little spirit sponges. They're amazing for the flat top stove and the cleaning paste. But what I'm going to do to demonstrate this for you is I'm going to take a whiteboard. So this is great for teachers. You know how teachers use those markers um, those wipe off markers and then their their whiteboard stains. So you could literally just start using a Sharpie So I, I just did a little heart for love and then I did um, 
three to four hundred dollars, which I mean, that's probably backwards for you, huh? Um, three, three to four hundred dollars is usually what my hostesses get whenever they host a party. So that's why I wrote that on there. Anyway, um, so you want to take your Enviro cloth that you, you rubbed in your cleaning paste pretty good. You want to get a, you know, good size amount on there and then it removes it. And this is Sharpie, you guys. <laughs> this isn't a uh, wipe off marker. So use it on those walls that your kids have marked on that you uh, they got in trouble for. Or uh, I use it in the salon a lot. It cleans, for stylists, it cleans um, hair color spots off of the floors and it really cleans your back bar, your wall behind your back bar really, really well. So look, it's completely gone. And that was Sharpie. That's crazy. Here, I'll show you. So it will get Sharpie off of things. I bet somebody asked me if it, if you could use it on clothes and I would think you could, but I would, like I said, with everything else, you want to test it in an inconspicuous area first, please. Okay. That is the, um, cleaning paste. It's wonderful. Again, I will post, um, I will post, uh, some way, some other ways that you can use it in the group. And those three right there come in a package. I did want to tell you about that. Um, these three come in, in a package. I think it's the, is it, I think that these two are the basic package and then this one's the next one up. So um, you can get this as a package, um, these three as a package and it will save you money or you can buy them all, you know, separately, whatever you would like. It's completely up to you, but I wanted to tell you about the packages as I go. Okay, so there's the cleaning paste. And then our Ultra Power Plus, our laundry detergent, absolutely amazing. It has um, biodegradable surfactants, no phosphates, no sulfates, no chlorine bleach, no fillers, no optical brighteners. You can't even see this. No animal testing, no dyes or fragrances. Um, this right here says it will get 100 high efficiency loads or 66 standard. And that is not, that's not true. This will actually get about 220 loads in, in a um, standard and maybe even more than that in a high efficiency. I use one teaspoon. I'm not kidding. One teaspoon. So what I did is I put it, I used a teaspoon measure and I put it, I put, put it into the cup and I marked the cup. So my husband, cause he was always asking how much to use. So I marked my cup as to how much. So you only fill it up to that little black line. That's how much you use for a standard load. Now, if you um, have a larger load, you'll want to double that or, you know, put it in the middle of the, the scoop, but no more than that per load. You don't need it. It's just wa wasting it. Um, so this lasts the average household four to six months. Um, me, it might last a little longer. It's just me and my husband. Um, but if you have kids, it, I'm sure you'll go through it a little faster. But if you have children, um, I do suggest uh, our liquid laundry detergent. It just takes a pump for a regular load, two squirts for um, a medium to large load. Uh, you don't want to ever pack your, your washer full for any reason, but if you happen to, maybe three to four pumps. Um, so this gets about 300. I think about 269 to 300. It really depends on, on what size your loads are. Um, but it comes in lavender, it also comes in unscented, but this has enzymes in it that really go to work and get those food stains and those grass stains off of kids' clothes, which is why I say to, if you have children, I would try the liquid. I mean, the UPP will work fantastic, um, but maybe try both of them and just, you know, get one one time, get the other the other time, and see which one you like better. I prefer, uh, well, that's not true, because I use them both for different things. Um, for my, for just our clothes, I use the lavender, um, and then our granddaughter, I, I like the liquid, uh, or grandchildren, and then, um, like for towels and, um, my, all my, um, my, um, Norwex, I use the UPP on, which I like to wash my Norwex alone. You can wash it with, uh, any lint-free item, they say, with, as long as you don't use, uh, uh, bleach, fabric softener, or dryer sheets, um, and then there's also, we have a microfiber care cleaner that you can use too. And then the third detergent that we got recently, it's a new one and it's the new laundry strips, which I have not personally tried yet. But um, if you have used strips before and you like them, we have them and they're great. I personally think they would be great for travel. 
so I do plan on ordering whenever we do. Uh, we are going to get an Airbnb in, in Colorado soon, which I'm very excited about. But um, so I'll get those and take with us. So that's our three detergents. We have the UPP Plus. We have the liquid laundry detergent, and then we have the laundry strips. And then for your microfiber, we, ha we have just the microfiber cleaner if you just really don't want to use these detergents, but I really suggest trying it. You will absolutely fall in love with it. Um, and then we have the dryer balls that take the place of your dryer sheets. And you can, after your clothes have dried with the dryer balls in it, you can go back and take a, dry, a dryer ball or two and put a few drops of, your, of a real essential oil, which I of course use lavender to go with my lavender detergent, and then put it back in there on air dry or air fluff or cool uh, for 10 minutes and your clothes will really smell wonderful. Um, and if you, you know, you don't, if you're used to using um, dye free or fragrance free, then you're, you know, just, you don't have to do that, but that's some good stuff. So that, um, that, those things that I just shared with you, the, the Enviro cloth, the window cloth, the cleaning paste, the dust mitt, and your choice of laundry detergent are all what's called the Safe Haven 5 set. And that is what I suggest to use, especially for um, if you're, especially if you're new to Norwex. Um, that is a great starter kit that will clean 90% of your home. Um, for the other 10%, that is what our other, you know, cleaners. I have a bunch of them on the table. You can't really see, but like mattress cleaner is wonderful. The odor eliminator is absolutely fantastic. I put a cap full where I used to put my fabric softener. I don't use it anymore, so I just put a cap full in there. Makes my clothes smell great, smell amazing. I throw the magnet ball in there, which makes you have to use only have to, it softens your water, so you only have to use 70% less. Um, Use 70% less of detergent whenever you use the magnet ball. I put it in my dishwasher. I also use it in my laundry, um, in my washing machine. Okay, I need to slow down. I'm talking too fast. I apologize. Um, so that is the Safe Haven plot, Safe Haven 5. Now I'm going to talk about the mop. And if you get the mop, that is the Safe Haven 5 Plus set. The mop is also on sale, and that is why we jump started her party this week. Um, I really didn't want you guys to miss the sale, so I, I had a conversation with her and I asked, do you want to start now or, you know, is there a time when you want to start? Um, because right now the mop is on sale, it, be, it would be a really good time. I really don't want anybody, even if it's just one person in the group, to take advantage of this sale. I just don't want, you know, it's a big deal to all of us, so I didn't want you guys to miss it. So I just, we jump started it, like we skipped the week of host coaching and we just started right then. She started sending out the invites. And that is why this party is just a little backwards. We're kind of starting in the middle of the party and then going back to the beginning. And then the end will be the same. But, I mean, I do every party a little different anyway. So it, it's, uh, it's nothing um, to me to do this. But I wanted to show you the mop. Um, there are three ways to get the mop. I'll tell you about that in a minute. It's called Moptions, but here's our mop. This one is the old one. Our new one has is this one right here that I have that I'm going to show you how to hang these towels, and it has the rubber ball on the end. The new ones are gray and black, or you can get it, I think, in a rose quartz color, um, which is really cool. But um, I have the mop attachment on this, so you just push down, and it squirts water. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> so it squirts water. This is the large mop. Um, the small mop is about, I don't think you can see it on that, on the end of this. You see that size, but, um, so it's about half the size of this. It works just as great too. You don't, the small mop is, people always want the large, but for, if you have a huge house, then you want the extra large. Um, but for a medium to small house, the small one worked just fine. But I, I, you get the large in the kit and I, this is what I got my kit in 2003. So you can see that my mop is still in great condition. The, the handle is telescopic. So I'm five one, uh, five one and a half. <laughs> my husband is six four. So it's great for both of us. Or if you want to extend it to use on the outside of your house, on your windows, on your ceilings, um, put your, you can put your Enviro wand on the end of it and clean your ceiling fans with it. I love the Enviro wand. That's another good attachment for the mop, or you can use it alone, but you just, you know, you clean your ceiling fans and your light fixtures and everything with it. It bends to whatever you're cleaning. It's fantastic. I just got one for my daughter because she has a chandelier um, that's kind of in a weird place. So 
Um, so you can put any of the attachments on the end. There is a broom attachment for it that you'll see, which I do have. I just, it's at the salon I use there, so I can't show you. But um, so here is the chenille mop pad. They all Velcro to it really very easily. This is the new chenille mop pad. It's great. This is what you use in between just kind of dust your floors. Um, and you want to do anytime you use this or the, the dry mop pad, you do it in an eight, like an eight circle motion to really get everything up. It works great. I just did this a couple days ago, so my floor is not that bad. Um, and then you take your rubber brush and you put it in the, you know, go to the trash can and just brush. It gets everything off. That is the tail mop pad. Okay, and then this is the dry mop pad. It is yellow in graphite, or you can get it in the, I think a rose quartz or one of those colors, but um, like if you're a girl, <laughs> I love it. I actually just ordered another one. Um, I'll, I'll have a fourth mop. <laughs> but I ordered, I wanted a couple for people to be able to sign out. So you do that, oh, and to charge it up, just like the dust mitt. So our dry, our dry mop pad is basically like our dust mitt. Our wet mop pad is like our EnviroCloth. So if you wanna charge it up really good and get it nice and magnetic before you start, just rub that on there a little bit and then just go around in your eight motion. I mean, it picks up everything, large things, small. It's, it's very magnetic. I know I'm not gonna get it a lot, but why not clean a little bit while I'm doing the demo? So then you go, same thing. Go to your trash can, clean it off, and just keep going. Or you can just um, hang it up for the next time. And then your wet mop pad. It is blue and graphite, mine is. There are multiple colors you can choose from, or a couple anyway. So this one, you don't have to charge or anything because, and you can either take this under the, under your faucet and wet it. I always do. I like to wet it first and use the, um, the spray attachment. You don't have to, but you, you know, you just spray and this, you just mop, you know, you do not have to use in the circle eight motion. And I always start that way because I think I'm, I'm sweeping, but. I mean, it works wonderfully. Even if your floors look clean, they're dirty, trust me. And then our little eight month old can come over and crawl all over the place. And I don't have to worry about, see, just that little bit got that yucky. I don't have to worry about her crawling all over dirt or um, chemicals, to be honest. So there's our lovely mop. There are three ways that you can get to get the mop. You can buy it tonight and it's on sale um, if you do the build a mop. Um, I think the, uh, the, the whole system is on sale too. I am not absolutely positive. Um, you can try it both ways if you want. Me personally, it, I would just go through and buy the, um, do the, it starts with the IN. And I did post that mop sale there for you. Um, if you have any questions, just call me. My cell phone number's all over the group. Um, you can get it, you can buy it tonight at a, um, and it's worth every penny at a 15% off discount. You can host a party and you can get it for free or very, very discounted. Um, you, or you can sign up to be a consultant and get it completely for free. And I can show you how, or for nine, it, actually it's $9.99 this month of March. If you've had a, an account before, you can reactivate for free. But if you're new, it's $9.99 and then you get your kit and then you have, um, you know, a certain amount of time to make a certain amount of sales and then you earn it for free or you pay $200. I think it's, it's really, it's worth every penny. I think it's $400 worth of, of stuff, maybe even more, but um, I can coach you the whole way. It, it worked very easily for me. It's just right out of the gate. I mean, I, I think I did it in 13 days, but um it's great, and you there is no obligations to sell. Sell, so you can like I said, my account was still there. I just wasn't able to use my discount because I hadn't made a sale. Like if you don't make a sale in six months, I think they make you dormant, and then you make a sale, and then you get your 
your discount back, but you can literally sign up just for the discount and then get a group of you and you guys all use the discount and make sure you don't go, you know, make sure you at least stay active and then uh, your, um, um, your discount is there. And all of you can like say one person can order $30, one, you know, so, and I know people that do that. I've signed people up that just do that. You know, they have their family and friends just use that discount and they all just order from it. And Normax encourages that, you know, there's, they, um, they're great about that. They, uh, don't, you know, not want you to share it. They want, pe they want Norwex in people's homes more than they want to make money. And that's how I feel too. So, um, thank you so much. Um, wait a minute. I, there's a couple other things I wanted to show you. I was getting ready to tell you, thank you. Goodbye. But okay. So there, this is the new blanket that's in there. The new throw. I got it yesterday. I absolutely love it. This is the pet to dry. This is the kid version of the Chanel the Chanel hand towel, which is this, they are beautiful. These you hang anywhere that people will wash their hands and whenever they dry them, they um, they will kill, they will get the rest, you know, what they miss from washing their hands. So whenever they're done washing their hands, there's no bacteria, it kills 99%, 99.9%. So you wanna hang it in your bathroom. My, I have one in my bathroom, one in my kitchen at all times. Um, but here's how you hang it. I've noticed that some people don't know how, so I, I want to show that's why I put my mop handle here. So you put it put it behind the handle that you're hanging it on, whether it be your stove or in your bathroom, you know, on your towel hook, and you just pull through. Put through that loop and pull through, and there you have it. It's hanging. It's kind of hard to do on my mop handle without knocking it down. But that taught me a new way to do my kitchen towels, which you can hang these in your bathroom as well. They're not only for your kitchen, and they're cute in the bathroom too. So it just makes a little loop, little knot there. You can pull tight to make a smaller knot, whatever you want. But I hang everything like that now, and I love it. These are the countercloths. You can either get them in this house or get them in a three-pack. Um, I love personally love the little house, and obviously I've added to it. But they are the size of a select -a size kitchen paper towel. They hold three times their weight in water. They clean up everything. Um, we use them as napkins most of the time. We will rinse them out. And I have, I bought, went and bought the huge pack of command hooks. I have command hooks all over my house. So I always have a place to hang things whenever they're drying. Um, personally for these, I have magnetic hooks that I have on my refrigerator and I, me and him always have one hanging there. So we can use it a few times before we wash it. Um, you know, a couple weeks actually. Just rinse in between and you, um, you've you got your, your napkin or your paper towel for a couple of weeks. Um, just, I wouldn't wash them really any more than that. I would really, I mean, rinse them very, very well, but don't you don't have to wash them that often. Okay, I think I've explained everything. There's so many other products. I really wish I had time, um, but I don't. Um, if you have any questions about any product, the deodorant's great. The shampoo and conditioner, I'm a hairstylist, so I have to tell you, it's fantastic. Um, the dishcloth is fantastic. Um, our, our face, our body, we have these on sale right now too. This is a body and face cloth. We have the regular larger gray ones too, but I no longer use any cleansers. I only use these on my face. I hang one, but on my makeup cart, I have one in the shower. Um, and then this is a makeup remover. So I remove my makeup with this. It's really soft and velvety. And then I clean my face with this, if that makes any sense. So these are also good for a, a fellow hairstylist. If you want to remove that dark um, stain from your client's hair before they leave, wet this and use that on their hairline. It works fantastic. Um, and then the Enviro sponges, which we already did have somebody place an order for these. These are one of my favorite things. This little sponge, I love it. Love, love, love it. I was a sponge Nazi before, so I was really trying to save those sponges, washing them in the dishwasher. But, you know, these are great. And you can wash these in the dishwasher, too. But um, they're fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And then, of course, the Spiri sponge. Um, definitely, if you get the cleaning paste, I would definitely get one of these. They're great to clean your sink, too. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for um, joining us. Thank you for listening to me. If you have any questions, again, I'm going to also post my email address. Um, and I will thank each, each of you as you order with my email address. So you have my email address to answer or to ask me questions um, or to call anything, you know, just to get a hold of me for anything if you have any issues with your order. 
All right. Well, thank you so much. Have a great evening. Bye.